Um, when the British left, right, in the late 60s, um, yes, 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 yes. was your father still working or was he affected? No, he was affected. Hmm. I think uh, in, towards the end of 1971, uh, uh, all of them were told, I know, you are living, you all won't be having a job. So I think my father got some, some money like, for his long service in the, with the British. And uh, I think the... I think Nancy Road, they closed down in 1971. I think the British left maybe after the Singapore Armed Forces took over from them. I think maybe 72, 72 during that time they took over. But the, the, I think the retention was, uh, happened during the December 1971. I remember all the staff were told. So there's no more job. <laughs> right. Um, your father received a golden handshake. Yes, yes. Right. Golden handshake, yeah, yeah. right. Um, how did he feel about the British pullout? Oh, of course, I mean, <laughs> after working with the British so long, he, he, they, they give him alternative job, in, you know, but somewhat he feels that he's already already in his mid-50s. He feels that now oh, it's enough. Uh, he'd rather <laughs> not uh, take up a second job. So he didn't take up a second job. Mm. Hmm. Did he receive that offer? Because as you said, you know, British subject to mm. go to London. Yeah, yeah, yeah there was. Hmm. You know, there was an offer and many of them took up the offer, you know. But my, my father didn't take up because the seven of, seven of us in Singapore, all of us were studying here, you know. So it would be a big change for him, you know. So my father never took up the offer. He preferred to stay in Singapore. But many of them could offer they left for London, especially during the period 1972, 73. Many of them left. Mm. They were from mm. Naval Base as well, from, uh, from, uh, from, uh, from uh, the BOD. Right. At the time, how old were you? Uh, See, I was doing my national service, you know, in 1976. Uh, uh, I went for, I did my national service in 1970. I was in 1969, 68, oh, I was still, still in school. So, you were uh, about... Uh, yes, uh, so I, I just more, went enrolled myself. 18, about 18 at the time? I mean, 18 time, yeah, yeah. I, I went for national service at the age of 18, yes. Do you remember, you know, when the British began to pull out and Malayali, some of them uh, went away? either to UK or some of them returned no. to India, right? India, yeah. Many of them left to India, mm. so yes, mm. yes. Do you remember that the area began to change? Say again? The area, the, the Nisun area, the Transit Road area began to change. Uh, oh, of course, of course, yeah, yeah. Uh, firstly, I think there a lot of improvement. All those paths and all this uh, disappeared. You know? During the uh, late 70s, you know, all those, once the British left, I still remember all those uh, girly bus, you know, there were no more there. And a lot of development. You know, I remember there was a rubber factory there. The factory disappeared. Uh, Nisun Theatre was there until, I think, until the mid-1970s. A uh, lot of lot of changes, you know. And the whole area was... Uh, <laughs> they, have a, uh, they have a community centre, I remember, in Nisun. 19, the community centre was opened in 1965. And those days, I used to go there. You know, National Library used to come, bring in events, they used to bring books to the library, to the... Nisun Community Center to force to borrow. So every Wednesday it is called borrow books from the from the library. Not in this library, the library is a van and with all the books there. And we used to return. Uh, where, where was the, the community center? This is along Nisun Road. Along Nisun Road, which which yes, way yes. towards the Sambawang Air Base? No, no, it's the other way. It's good towards uh, Thompson Road. Uh, towards Thompson so, Road. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This was so it's just walking distance from my house, you know. Uh, I still remember I attended the opening of the uh, commission. I think it was opened by MP. You know, I think it's, uh, yeah, it's Dr. Franz Von Ong. You know, I can't remember my MP at that time. <laughs> so uh, we used to go to, and they used to have a uh, lot of you know, activities there. You know, uh, they used to have <laughs> all this jogging, dancing, and all this. I still remember that, seeing some of this. <laughs> and uh, there, there was a lab. Mm, I mainly go there to collect, uh, uh, borrow books from the library. Okay, okay. Did you do your national service at Nisun? Yes, I was there. You were there, uh, okay. I, I, I went in, in July 1970, you know. I was living in Nisun. Uh, I, I, went to, I was there. I, my ROD was in 1972. All the while I was there in, in Nisun. You know. Only in 1975, I, 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 we got another house. In, in Clemens, we, have been, we shift over there. All, otherwise, all the while, we were in this one. Well, your camp is just walking distance. Yeah, yeah. When I was at Safti. It was a very, very long distance. My knees were Safti. <laughs> During my... Uh, after the BMT, my, my, you mean? Uh, after, after, after the BMT, yes, yes, yes. 
after the after the BAP, I joined the Port of Singapore Authority. I was there oh, for the next 30 years. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, I've also talked to you about that. And also, there are many, there were many Malayalis there as well. Yes, yes, yes. True, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. A lot of them, actually, a lot of them are storekeepers, you know. During the 19... Uh, I'm, I'm talking about the PSA, you know. During the early 1950s, uh, many people from India, you know, came down they took up a job as clerks and storekeepers and, and, and all this, you know. And even in those days in the PSA, you see the unions, and even the corporate societies, you can find many of them, you know, in, in the management committee of this, uh, this uh, cooperatives and uh, unions. <laughs> hmm. That was during the, the 1950s, you know. <laughs> That's right. I mean, Malayalis, uh, although a very small population, uh, were very much a big part of the professional life and the political That's life exactly. of Singapore. That's yes. Yes, yes. Exactly. Yeah. They were more. Uh, they're quite good. At, I mean, I just uh, they're quite good at writing and you know, writing skills. And uh, uh, most of them uh, who came from, I say, they had some education. They they can uh, read and write English quite well. You know? so that's why they managed to get jobs in uh, in the in the, in the PSA and even this uh, under uh, under the uh, British. You know, mm. <laughs> that, that could be affected. Uh, 